In the past videos, we talked about the use of polypropylene lines and different synthetic lines um, and their uses. And I made mention that one of the cool things about polypropylene lines is it works really well in around water or marine environments. So let's say um, we needed to do a couple things with our, our, our line. We need to prepare for a anchor. Um, now, the first thing that we can do if we wanted to uh, send a anchor down is we could make a, uh, we could splice an eye loop um, onto the end of this rope instead of having to rely on a knot. This is going to be fairly permanent. Um, and anytime you tie a knot, you're going to be weakening the rope. So this is going to give us a really kind of a strong option for tying and keeping the rope together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the running end of the rope and I'm going to break it. I'm going to run, run it through and create a, uh, a loop uh, by going through some of the braiding here. All right. And so I'm just going to kind of very carefully, what I can do is you can kind of push on the braiding a little bit and create a little hole. You can use your finger, you can use a dowel rod or a piece of bone, whatever you have available. And I'm going to make myself a loop and that's going to go then around the eye hole or the eye uh, anchor of that, um, of the anchor. Um, and then I'm going to take the other end of my rope here. I'm going to lock it in place uh, by running that running end or the standing end becoming the running end to run running through the rope here. And then I'm going to be left with a little bit of a tail. And so I'm going to again push the core open. I'm going to try to stick my little tail right into the core of that rope. And now I got myself a little bit of a, oh guys, a little straggler left. And now I've got myself a nice, tight spli eye splice here. Now, if I, let's say I threw this, this rope uh, with the anchor overboard and I was coming at the end and I'm like, oh no, I need more, I need more rope. Well, I can do the same thing. Um, a very similar thing. I can splice a knot um, into this rope. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my knot, my rope here. I'm going to push it through. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that running end and I'm going to lock that into place um, with, with the rope so that it similar to that eye splice that I just did. Fraying here. All right, and then I'm going to bunch the rope together to open it up. I'm going to shove the remaining bit into the core of the rope, just like this and then do the opposite end push it bunch it up if you need to get your finger in there open it up get the rope in there into the core give it a pull and i got myself a nice tight splice that's not going to go anywhere oops Get these guys back in. Now 
and these ends just keeps the rope from getting caught up on on stuff so the cleaner job that you take you do with this um, the easier it's going to be with working with the rope later on I can give that a pull and I'm not going to go anywhere. So that's how you splice.